Um, I had to do, of course, a little time out, getting out, even though I've been getting to some places I've been meaning to get to, but, uh, oh man, I, I, I've been meaning to do a lot of videos on, uh, tributes, and I have to tribute to the mighty, great, legendary, kick-ass, on top of the world type kicking Mr. Bruce Lee himself. I am very honored <laughs> to have taken the same year of birth, unfortunately, when he died, but um, you know, it's the speculation of the family curse. And if this is true, which, you know, eh, I don't want to think so, but you know what? If there's something supernatural out there, <clears throat> and if it's coming after you, like, say so, like Bruce Lee, and it only cursed the boys, supposedly, in the family... And, of course, that's what might have happened to his son, Brandon Lee. You know, then this might have been the ancient Chinese spirits that maybe knew that he was going to go forth with pursuing what he was going to do. And that was bring, you know, say so, Queet Kondo or whatever you call it. I forget what you call it. A karate say so <clears throat> and bring it and to show the white man and it could also be that he didn't piss off the Chinese mafia for showing you know their techniques and say so bringing it to the United States of course after a big huge war with China you know, with World War Two, why wouldn't they be pissed? <clears throat> so, I mean, not only did this man legendarily break through the boundaries of just coming to the States and wanting to, you know, become a true American, or even if it wasn't to be a true American, just to be someone rather than be into war and all that crap, but, you know, keep the fight and what he wanted to teach just surreal. Me, I'll tell you something. When I first saw movies back in the 70s watching Kung Fu Theater, and, of course, Bruce Lee would come up. I mean, just like Eddie Van Halen, just like Randy Rhodes. When I first heard them two men play guitar, I mean, my face just dropped. Like, Whoa, what is that? Or even Tony Iommi with the metal riffs. And I was only five, six years old when I heard this music for the first time. And when I saw Bruce Lee for the first time, <clears throat> I was like, damn. So, I mean, I tried to get myself into karate. Of course, my mother did not put me in. All right, baby, that's not that money. Blah, blah, blah. You know, there was a lot of things I wanted to do when I was a kid, and this was one of them. <clears throat> I literally bugged a friend of the family. For his karate suit, I still, I don't know what happened to the pants. But I still got the top uh, karate thing in, back in 1981. Oh, 1982, <clears throat> excuse me. I wore that suit for Halloween, and I broke Bruce Lee on the back of it. And, um... Man, I still got, like I said, I still got the top. I hold that sacred to me. 
Because it was the only thing I got that was a real suit. But I lost the pants. I can't remember where the hell the pants went. I think they might have chewed up by goddamn mice back in the day when I was a... Moving when I was a kid, but... um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I thrived so much to want to get into karate. I said, fuck it. I'm going to learn it from TV. So that's exactly what I did. Every move, every kick, every punch... I studied it, just like I studied everything else growing up as a kid. Music, you know, TV shows, family morals, everything learned from TV. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, I'm going to lie. I was bullied when I was a kid. And I've come to the conclusion that I think I got bullied because of my brother's bad reputations. I mean, my oldest brother was a thief. My father has recently told me stories in the past couple years that he used to go around stealing people's property, put it up in the attic, and my brother, my father would be bringing it to the police station and returning it. <clears throat> you know, he wasn't raising no thief. But I think the reputation got through town that all these rich people might have got ripped off. And to the, and the think of the stuff I went through as a kid... Because of my brother's bad reputation. <clears throat> and, right, I used to get bullied a lot. So, <clears throat> I might have to pause the mere picking on my son at work, but I used to get bullied. I mean, there was. I mean, there was some bad bullying when I was a kid. I mean, I'd have a group of kids coming up to me, four or five of them. And the friends I did have would back me up, but not too much, to the point I, mean, I used to take a dog chain and wrap it around my chest and um, just reveal it. <clears throat> five of you, I got this. And, you know, these kids would be like, oh, well, you got to fight with weapons. <laughs> but one day, I don't know, I had the freaking chain with me and I was still getting harassed by these five kids. And not only this time and moment of time, multiple times afterwards. <clears throat> I remember myself taking a stance. Just like Bruce Lee in the TV shows, man, or the movies. Kung Fu Theater. <laughs> and the kid was looking at me like, oh, shit. And I could see the little expression in his mouth. Oh, shit, right? Wasn't saying it out loud, but he was saying it. And I looked at him and I was like, I gave him this look sideways, head look, got the fist up, ready to, you know, just I put him in that stance. <clears throat> you know how karate people get ready to fight. No sooner did this kid come at, come out to swing at me. I literally drop kicked him right in the friggin' gut. I was like, yeah! I even made the friggin' noise. <laughs> yeah! Kicked him right in the gut. Pull! He's like, Whoa! And I went and punched him in his face. Pow! With a friggin' right hand. <clears throat> he fell immediately, and then all his friends were watching. Of course, when, you know, the fight ended short, when, <clears throat> excuse me, all of them started to chase me. It was like five kids, all together six with him, but he was on the ground. So I got five, five kids chasing me to my house. I got to kick their ass. I was like, oh, really? So I didn't get into the good stance of, beating up all the people around me like Bruce Lee, but it worked. What I learned worked. And I mean, <clears throat> that led me to another fight in school that I got into. It was at school, actually. And there was five kids this round, and I had one on the ground, because I'll be back. <clears throat> As I was saying, it wasn't until my next fight that I got the five kids in one. Six kids, man. 
They actually were beating up on someone I knew, and, you know, I was having a feud with all these kids at this school, too. I mean, everywhere I went, people were just pushing me around and picking on me, and then this kid I was hanging around with, they started pushing on him, so one day I get out the recess, and the first thing I see is the kid on top of the kid I know, bang, 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 punching. So I went up to this kid and I ripped him off and I pushed him on the ground and I started, you like it? Bang, bang, got on top of him, smacking him around. Then I get five kids on my back. They're all punching me. And that's when I felt, well, I was like, went buck wild and just started throwing elbows back. Whack, whack, each which way. Everything you would see in a Bruce Lee movie, just a poof, pa, right? I was throwing everything, kicks, elbows, punches. And wouldn't you know, every kid fell down like a rock. <laughs> oh, man. Till the teachers came. And <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking, but, man, I felt like friggin' on top of the world, man, using these techniques. And like I said, I used to, I used to memorize this stuff. A lot of things I could memorize when I was a kid. I still do. I mean, it wasn't up to about four years ago or three years ago. I did my first roundhouse kick. I never thought I could do it. I never tried it because I always kicked forward or sideways. But I said, well, here I am at this age. Why don't I try doing a roundhouse kick? And didn't I just do it? Just got my leg up and went around and kicked the friggin' wall or something. I forgot what I kicked, but right on contact. I almost shit my pants. But, um... This guy, man, oh. If it was a curse, though, that killed him, that only goes to show them spirits wanted him not showing or even living for friggin' showing off the techniques of China. I mean, they did, um, were very upset with him when he started this back in the 60s, man. And I just want to honor him because he helped me a lot with bullying. So I'd like to give him a moment of silence. I mean, it sucks that he died in 73, but I held, I hold it as an honor to be born in 1973 of this man. And, um, I mean, yeah, they go on saying, in this movie, man, I remember when this came out, The Dragon. It was an awesome portrayal of Bruce Lee. If anybody hasn't seen this yet, they shouldn't. But they even show him fighting that demon in the beginning. Well, not in the beginning. I don't know. He's having nightmares or something about it, but... I mean, it could have been the mafia, though, like they say. But Bruce Lee also went on to say this, that... His permissions of his own death. So, I mean... Yeah. Could have... He could have... He could have done that. Predicted it. But anyways, I mean, just to go on to say with this, he went, like I was saying, he was predicting his own death spot. Who knows? You know, the way this went down and he had that um, pill or something, who knows if that woman he was with at the time that said they gave him the pills, who knows if the mafia didn't pay her off. Because that is what has been, I mean, I think they did do an autopsy or something on that autopsy guy. That that woman gave him the pill not knowing he might have been allergic or something to it. But if it, is, <clears throat> you know, mm, it's hard to say. Uh, but anyways, it sucks his son went to, you know, died too. Because they, they couldn't find a motive of how the bullet got into that gun and a fake gun and it got jammed and 
I mean, that most most rightfully could have been the damn Chinese mafia because, you know, it could and and it oh, and it also goes off in this saying that his brother was died too at a young age, Bruce Lee's brother. But I'm gonna tell you something. This his family could have been not liked, not just because they were bad people, but because they were probably good people. And Bruce Lee, damn right, was a good person. And I'm for damn sure his father was just as good. His mother was just as good. And they were trying to maybe themselves get something going. And the mafia didn't like it. So what better thing to do than take them out? But, um... Give the fist of fur fury for a great, awesome person. Like I say, man, if it wasn't for him, I probably would have got my ass kicked a lot more when I was younger. So, this is my dedication to Bruce Lee, right there. That man, with the strange deaths, but all in all, whether he be dead or alive, I would have loved to shake that man's hand and tell him my stories, but... Mmm, sucks. But either or, it was great to have him as long as it was, and... If anybody has never seen his movies, load them up now. Get them up and check them out. They're the most badass fights you'll ever see. Especially the, um, epic... Legendary fight with Chuck Norris. Another man I like that. First there was Bruce Lee and then came Chucky too. I had learned a lot from. And he got to meet this man. It was great. See them two just battle it out, man. It was some good stuff. But, um. <coughs> oh, man. This is my dedication to this man. I give a great bow to him. Great bow. But, uh, like I say, get out there and check out this man's movies if you haven't already. I just wanted to share my stories that i done with just by watching him. Just by watching him. Learned a lot. Kicked some ass. <laughs> and then, mind you, do you know I went off and keep the karate going and throw in some... Goldberg move. <laughs> the spear? Yeah, that's right. Throwing a spear and some kicks and some punches. You got an ultimate war machine. <laughs> but until that next video, be safe, take care, and always watch Bruce Lee. You can learn from that man just by watching his movies. Out.